how did they wind up on the ship to begin with? So for the last couple of years, a lot of these cargo ships have, because they've been battling with uh, pirates off the coast of Somalia, mm -hmm. have taken to hiring armed guards. And a lot of these military special forces guys have gone into this line of work. Uh, these two Navy SEALs uh, joined uh, a private security company and were uh, outposted to this ship. Uh, and they've been working on this ship, this particular ship, for about two and a half weeks. And to think of just as Navy SEALs, as you point out in your piece, that the grueling um, you know, nature of, of becoming a Navy SEAL and how they, according to friends and family who you talk to, really took pride in their lives, their bodies to this day, and then you have what happened. Tell me about what, what they were up to the night before. What did you learn? So it looks like the ship pulled uh, to the, uh, toward the island of, or the archipelago of Seychelles, which is a bunch of islands off the coast of Africa, about 10 days ago. And when they got in port, uh, it looks like the crew went out for what seems to be a fairly typical night out on the town. Um, they started out at one bar. This is a, a posh resort island um, known as a honeymoon spot for the stars. Um, um, and there seems to be a real divide in the culture on the island in that, on the one hand, it's a very wealthy um, polished place. Mm -hmm. uh, on the other hand, it has some of the highest intravenous drug use in the world. rates in the world. Um, so in any case, these, the crew went out for a night on the town. They went to a bar. Um, from all descriptions of waiters and staff, they were really outgoing and having a, a great time doing tequila shots and vodka with a bunch of sailors from uh, New Zealand. Uh, they ended up bouncing to a casino and then to another casino, and uh, the the rest of the crew split off from our two Navy SEALs, and uh, the two men, the two Navy SEALs, ended up closing that casino and were sort of politely asked to go um, at the end of the evening. Um, and at that point, uh, it looks like from surveillance cameras, the two men uh, met two women mm -hmm. uh, in the hall out in front of the casino, and then they walked down a dark corridor, and that's where the trail goes quiet. We don't have any evidence of what happened next. I mean, it is, it's one thing to do tequila shots. It is quite another to be abusing these kinds of drugs. And as you point out on these islands, I mean, there is some, there's some really bad stuff that can get mixed up in some of the, this heroin. Uh, I'm curious what the friends and family had told you. I mean, do, have, have these guys dabbled in drugs before? Do we know? Yeah, so there's a real dichotomy here. I mean, the description of the two men from friends and family was in stark contrast to what sounded like a pretty hard partying night. Um, most of the people who knew these men, the first thing they pointed out was their outgoing personality and uh, sort of fitness buff um, kind of rigor to their routines when they were home. Um, a lot of them talked about just how attractive they were and sort of the healthy lifestyles they seemed to live at home. Hmm. Both of them had kids. One of them was recently divorced, but they both seemed to be um, family men. Um, so there was no indication from interviews of neighbors and acquaintances and, and former um, military colleagues uh, that, that there was a problem.